whakarongo ki te repo, feeling the life rhythm of wetlands. Kahutara. Tamata, ground preparation. Whakatoto, planting the seed. Whāngai, nurturing the plant. Tāpahi, cutting the harakeke. Hai hai, cutting the harakeke into strands. Hapini, making each strand pliable. Viranga, weaving. Aho fatu, tying off. Kia ora, my friend. My name is Kahutara, and I'm a wetland. My name means a cloak made of feathers from a bird called a tara. A tara is a migratory bird and it's famed for being agile. The wearer of a kahutara is a rangatira or chief. Rangatira is a compound word with ranga meaning weaving and tira meaning agile. And a rangatira is a leader who weaves people together so that as a group they are agile. I live between the wide lake and the nesting places for birds. Some of these birds travel the earth to get here. In the places that the tara live, and as it travels, it needs to be agile. But why am I, a stuck-in-the-mud wetland, named after a tara feathered cloak for an agile chief? Often this is what people concentrate on, but the true leaders of this area wanted their people to concentrate on the things people don't see, the foundation work. In the weaving of the cloak, the seen beauty is the cloak. The unseen beauty is the preparation for the weaving. My land has plenty of space for my harakeke. You have to look deeper to find out how the ground and water is prepared so harakeke can be planted and how harakeke is nurtured to grow. What plants know is that a repo or a wetland is rich in food for plants. I own the place that nurtures the young of fish, birds and plants. Nowadays whāngai means a person who is adopted and in Māori families this person is often a relative. The wider meaning of nurturing, so not just food but ideas like values is how a whāngai is nurtured. As a wetland, I am not the only one nurturing. I am just holding a place where nurturing can be enabled. How much growth? While the tallest endemic tree, the ones only found in New Zealand, the kaikatea, is found in the whenua of the repo. Why are my soils soft and waterlogged? The soils for this giant. This is because of the soil's rich foods, enough food to feed a giant. The strands of the kakatea roots are sized so they can weave with each other. So while the woven cloak can be seen, the woven roots of all the kakatea are hidden. While the roots come from individual trees, their roots graft together so they can share the food with the whole family. Willingness to share and looking out from ourselves means that the trees are humble and they realise life is not about individual strength, but a collective strength. We have to all be willing to weave together. We weave the waters, we weave the light, we weave the food, we weave the air, we weave through the soil. Why do we weave water? I live with open water on one side of me and water settling across the plains on the other. These waters normally settle me with their beauty and their heart rhythms expressed in gentle wave action. I want to greet Tangaroa and thank you for the life within water. Why do we weave in the soils so we can get their foods to everyone? The life or modi of the earth presses me on to be all that I can be. I want to greet Papa Tuanuku, our Mother Earth, because there is mana and modi in the soil of this land. I greet you again, friend, for listening to me. Be still for a moment here in the time and place and listen to the tide of the land. The taiao is my environment, the place of modi or life. Turn your thoughts to this space, to this lake we call Wararapa, 
where the namer of places, Honui Ananaya, felt the Modi and his eyes glistened. Now you see me, Kahutara, cloaked from background work to be a nursery for flora and fauna. My final greeting to you, friend, for when you are far away from me, can you hear me? Can the memory of my tail of my environment bring you peace?